Glow States, otherwise known as Being in the Zone, were first named by Hungarian-American psychologist Mihai Cheeks and Mihai. The concept of flow has kind of entered into household vocabulary. And here are a few thoughts on the potential issues with flow states. This is a reproduction of Csikszentmihalyi's original flow model. We we'll see that flow is essentially a case of reaching the right skill and challenge level. And too little of either can result in apathy, boredom, relaxation, control, worry, anxiety, and arousal, but very rarely flow. So the first point to make is that it can be hard to enter a flow state at will. Often it requires the right combination of challenge skills and intrinsic motivation to reach that flow state. So it's not something we can necessarily tap into whenever we want. Flow can lead to ignoring other important things as well. When fully immersed, we may lose track of responsibilities or neglect personal needs, like eating or sleeping. But flow activities don't always last, they're fleeting. And when challenges no longer align with the skills that we have or focus shifts, the sense of effortless concentration breaks and this impermanence can be extremely frustrating. So number four, not everyone experiences it. Due to differences in personality, motivation, skills, etc., flow is easier to achieve for some people than others. Those who struggle to enter flow may feel dissatisfied or incapable, but they should know, and I should know, being someone that doesn't have as, as many technical skills as I would like, is that we can increase our skill level and we can increase our challenge level, but we are also liable to have to experience everything else on this flow chart as well. We should also be aware, as two final points, and this is quite rare, that there's sometimes a risk of addiction or obsession. The feeling of flow can be addictive and some people can be hooked on certain flow activities that it almost becomes unhealthy or interferes with their school, their work or their relationships. And perhaps the last thing I should say is that flow activities don't always align with goals. Perhaps we can get into flow doing activities that aren't meaningful or contributing to our broader objectives. It feels good in the moment, but may distract us from more important pursuits. So we may have flow states playing video games. And I don't want to switch off the you know gamer audience, but perhaps that skill and challenge may be better directed into something else.